Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Overgrowth. We're not going to be continuing the Ethereum 2 campaign because we completed it in the last episode. <clears throat> I might go back eventually and do the uh, uh, the parts that I haven't done. As you can see here, there were all these different paths to select. So I could go along the other paths to kind of see where those take me. Uh, but I'm not really concerned about that. Um, instead, today's episode, we're going to do Drika's uh, story, uh, which should be pretty straightforward. I mean, there's only ten portions of it, so I don't know if this will be one long episode or two separate episodes, like a part one and part two, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so let's hop straight into it. I want to thank you all so much for uh, joining me for this episode. And I want to thank you all for your support in the previous episodes as well. Uh, as per uh, Greek Hall's uh, request, I plan to play the Stanley Parable uh, in the future, in the near future. Uh, I just have to get my hands on that game first. Um, so once I actually get paid, I will uh, be able to purchase that and uh, play that for the series. So, look forward to that. Um... If you want to make sure you get notified, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you really want those notifications. Um, but I mean, you probably don't want them. Um, and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Terai. So this is what it's like to step foot in a rich Arlesian home. Bah, of course not. This is no home. It used to be the grounds for private leisure. Meetings, some parties, the kinds of things you'd expect from nobles who'd want to be in private. But now that the King Vivian has been killed in the slave uprising, it hasn't been touched since. Yeah, right. What? I know what a slave repository looks like. You took great care cleaning up rabbit blood. But hey, you missed a spot. Ugh. <sighs> Fine. It also stored slaves. Don't get too cocky with me, dog. It's your meeting you should be worried about. Who is he? You know what a hunter is, right? You're kidding, right? The dog looks so strange and so sad with his ears down like that. Before you try speaking with the cat, some words of advice. He'll speak to you in our legion. Heed the rules of the language. He doesn't expect much of you, but do not under any circumstances apply you are anything more than a lesser being to his presence. And of course not. I've heard the royal blood is picky about that. How's your legion? Uh, not good. Just keep a grip on pronouns. You are this one, he is he. You'll understand soon enough. Now get a move on. He's in the courtyard by the fountain. You've done me a huge favor by performing, by informing me. Thank you. Ah, I'm playing as a, as a dog. Does that mean my hops are pathetic? I do not have mad hops. I can put my paws up though. All right, it's teaching me how to move too. Oh my god, I'm so slow. This is painful. Painfully slow. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're the guy. The guy? I take you as one inexperienced with the Arlesian tongue. I suppose you could say that. So this is the one I'm talking to. Terrific. One will take after the pronoun of the inferior. You are this one. I am I. Understand? I guess. Um, uh, one and uh, understands? Good. Then this dog will listen to what I will say. This thing is clear. This one knows when to close their jaws. It will keep it shut and take things for granted. Tell me, 
T. Of what duration has this one parlayed with felines within the Alesian dialect? Uh, not long enough. I know now. How do you know who this one is? Oh, but your mouth is sluggish. Must I converse in the common language? That would be convenient for this one. But no, we speak in our legion. We? This one knows not of their arrogance, here and now. But I'll forego these lessons, for they require a mind to remain sharp. This visit of, of, is of business for this one, correct? Uh, yeah, why is this one here? This one will call me faulty. It is of utmost importance. This one converses with I. I am to believe this dog has been in contact with a damsel who has left the better side of Pruin. This damsel, poorer than I, has been missing from the King Vivian's roster for an extended period of time. This damsel's crimes were that of, let these accusations not soil my tongue, the assistance the person, personal in wow, the personal interference and the sodomy of and with an inferior dirt clod. Interesting wording. I am so sorry for butchering that. Uh, sodomy? You can't be serious. So I am led to believe this one knows her. It is brought to my attention that this one and the damsel held a relationship of some form. Of strict business matter. This one is, a, is aware of her personality, yet not to in any extent of true familiarity. It is easy for one such as I to detect the betrayal of one's thoughts, silence or no. Uh, so this damsel, you need not worry about her journey. She will not be harmed. Rags such as, those, uh, such as those suggest one low capacity for thinking, so this one will have its teeth counted and displayed. When the damsel named Draka departed on the 32nd, uh, wow, the 36th of Spurhelm this year, where did this one figure the damsel went? I don't know. That was a lot of exposition, I'm sorry guys. That was like five minutes of exposition, um, so I apologize. Every 17 years, the cicada beasts in Oran release mating calls powerful enough to brutally shift the landscape, destroying everything within. The cicada beasts? Interesting. Ah, <laughs> six shades, my dude. Now I know why they say this land's impossible to chart. All these damn dunes look the same. I'm lost, but that can't stop me just yet. I need to find shelter, and soon. The sandstorm's not coming down. Alright. Uh, I still have pathetic hops, but I'm a cat now. Now I get to play as various different creatures. Which is cool. At least I'm faster in this form than in dog form. The dogs are just despicably slow. Oh my god. Look at those shades, though. Mmm, strut your stuff, Draka. Drika. I don't know. What's this now? A campsite. They were cooking meat. Guess they couldn't pack the leftovers. That's meat? Alright. I'd love to take it, but it's practically frozen solid. Useless. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Everything looks just about the same from up here. Storm's too thick to see through. Wait, are those paw prints? Aha! Uh -huh. Follow the paw prints. Those were left not too long ago. Storm hasn't erased them just yet. Seems like a dog came through here. I'm not experienced enough with tracking in a place like this to know who, though. I should follow them. These could bring me to shelter. That is fair. Shelter is important. I seem to really slide down that hill. That's actually a really good touch by the developers. Hmm. On way, onwards this way. On way this word? Yep. Good job. Good job, Phantom. Really know how to do the words, don't you? Eh, there's the paw prints. 
Uh, they go this way. Through here. Still through this way. Alright. The wind must have swept the paw prints away in here. I guess I'll just have to keep moving. I might pick up the trail again. Maybe. We'll see. Whee! Really sad to not have those mad hawks, you know? Being a rabbit was a blast. Weather isn't getting any better. Is that a flag on the crate? There's something there, through the sand. Someone's home! Can they point me to the steeps? Uh, that's a good question. I like that I have a sword, actually holstered, <clears throat> unlike all the other campaigns where as soon as I uh, have a weapon of some sort, my character loses it between levels, I guess. Levels, maps, whatever. Hello? Anyone? I just need to know something. And who is this? Some kind of, some kind of greenhorn for that clown of a cult. Here to take what's yours. Cult? No, I... She takes no part of the cult. <clears throat> that is not to say she's innocent. She recognizes something within my face. Something she doesn't like to see. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't act so high and mighty. Nothing good came from a wanderer this late in the cicada cycle. <clears throat> she carries guilt. Like all of us. But she cannot hold it back, like none of us. This is self-defense. We won't let your kind in Oran. If I just hold out against them, maybe they'll get the message? No, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Ha-ha! A superior swordswoman! <clears throat> well, that's both of them. I didn't want this to happen. I wanted none of this to happen. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten a second chance. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. A second chance for what? Hmm? Hmm? Hunters were trained within the King Vivian's roster in order to punish traitors. Deb... De Detis and enemies of the state. Their royal skills translate fantastically to almost every environment across Pruin. Uh, the word Detis looks very strange and uh, tricked my eyes for a second until I realized it was Det Ease. Da da da. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Da da da. Da da da. So the caravan's tracks lead me there. The wind can't hide your tracks. You will answer to me. Now I'm playing as Faulty. Jesus. How many people can I play as in one campaign? This is extra confusing because this campaign's only like 10, I'll call it episodes long. Hey, he's gone. Halt, stranger. As you wish. Arlesian bounty hunter under the wing of the late King Vivian. At your service. What is your business here? The corpse is ours. It's a big corpse. And what a beautiful corpse it is. This one has already stolen the wonderful pleasure of beholding such a treasure within one's irises. Though the physical form itself shall not add to this one's collection. This one is carrying the late king's orders. Your master is dead. Your empire is dead. These are not the sands for the for litter box kittens like you. Tath, you have no right to speak. I'm the one to decide here. An Alesian is only worth his tooth in his wealth and servitude. The very fact that this one has discarded its uh, doublet and high velvet is a testament to its death. Da da da. Such a hypothesis. This one deems correct. Though, beware. 
I still cling to my silver tongue and claw with the tightness comparable to that of a dying mother's. You spin threats? Ha ha ha! How illustriously fine of this one to behold a lardy joke such as yours. This one comes in grinning peace to its utmost sincerity. If this one may t make a single simple request of such talented excavators of the dune fruit. Don't take a single... If one were to envision or thirst for to know the location of what your hearty brethren call steeps, one's trail of guided paw prints would continue unscuffled and unbroken. But say, if one had to place their not-so-hesitant ear, oh so close to your fragile vocal cords, to hear even the softest telltale whisper. Then, this kitten just wants to know where to get to the steeps. Wants to die pampered. Toss his tail into the sands, Tath. If the son of a coward survives, we'd have no choice. Fight him alone? Tath. You seem to cling to an illusion of choice. Know who shelters you. Know your place. And know that we can take it all from you at any moment. Is that a police officer in the background? Uh, I'm pointing at my screen, but you can't see that. Uh, kind of to the right, a little lower than the middle of the screen. Looks like a police officer. Must I remind you what happened to Lee? It's difficult to crawl out of a dune with broken limbs. Even more difficult once the cicaded cycle resets. Hack! Fine. The coward's already lost. Bear your tooth, vermin! Very well. Words I cannot pronounce. Ha ha! Ha ha! Get uh fucked! That was an easy fight. Jesus Christ. Did you hear those bones crack? And so he falls. Hell, expected him to at least last longer. Ha! Of course not. I'm a legion. Well, I suppose I'm to give you the location of the steeps. You want to go see Thendra by the cicada. Just don't touch it. Now off with you, please. None of us want you here any longer. All right. Can I pick this up? Pick, pick it up. Ha ha! Now I have a pole arm. Can I climb this? No. All right. It was worth a shot. <clears throat> More meat. A sleeping rabbit. That looks like a slave, but we're not going to talk about it. <clears throat> what are you wielding? Oh, I dropped my polearm. My, what a sharp tool you have. We have the same technology in the God and Slave repositories, but ever so dull. You don't want to... You don't want to keep it sharp most of the time. This one's just for scaring off rat, or scaring the rat off from attacking anyone that comes close to the corpse. And what a corpse it is! No wonder such benign vermin wish to inspect jewels of this quality. The little rodents can be real weird about it. Almost like there's a noise coming from inside the chitin, and the only. And only they can hear it. Fascinating. Please, just stop talking and tell me what you need. The path in which I travel must be directed towards the crown jewel of these fine sands. The steeps. Uh, the steeps. Right. Uh, you'll want to make your way past those rocky hills. By then, just travel westwards until you come across a drained chasm. Uh, the plateau south side hosts the steeps. Thank you. Farewell. Your well wishes on excavating the flawless diamond of the sand. I shall come for my damsel. <clears throat> Your damsel, huh? Interesting. Members within the Arlesian Collective value nobility and wealth above all else. Trust can be bought and lives will be sold. <clears throat> Alright, well, I uh, was going back to count how many... Uh, how many parts we have completed uh and i think this is gonna be the last one based on our time uh so let's get into it da 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 drinking i don't recall asking for that tool's presence 
The slave will be gone. This one and I have business to conduct. Uh, <clears throat> this one's conversation with I resumes. As I've said, the damsel has left this side of the continent and gone, shall I say, missing. For this one's sake, let's speak truthfully. This damsel, where has she journeyed to? Uh, she gathered a small group of people to join her and become poachers. Uh, the three of them were uh, uh, preyed on stray rabbits within the uh, Remedy uh, Hills for bounty money. <coughs> Eventually, Dr Dr Drica did, did some things uh, any anyone would regret, and I had to split her off from everything in the Arlesian Collective so she could get out safely. These things the damsel did? Of what actions did she perform? Got, got involved with things you wouldn't want to poke your head in? Uh, I swear she backstabbed everyone possible when she had the chance. <clears throat> she even, uh, even tried to free a slave. I'm still not sure how she got away with that. Hmm. Amusing. Was the damsel a virgin of spilling blood? Uh, yeah, she's not one to kill. Uh, n n not at all. Doubly amusing. And why is that? These were the last intact pieces of teeth within Ferdy's skull. Huh? I have a contact with the damsel's peer, Ferdy. His business with the King Vivian has not been concluded, and thus I need to talk with the damsel who is at fault for his death. You've been carrying his teeth in your mouth this whole time? You're lying. Dracom may be messed up, but she's no killer. Twas a suspicious scene, the sight of Ferdy's corpse. Cobus and Ferdy lay struck by an awfully large sword of Cinderian make. Wielded by something ghastly powerful. The damsel is likely not the one that cut down Ferdy and Cobus, but lest we pretend these things are all too simple, I say the damsel is at fault for killing them both. Why should I trust anything you say? You're filthy! Disgusting! I do not recall requesting this one's base, childish input. The canine will respond quickly and efficiently when I ask questions such as, Where is the damsel she's in oran da, da, da. then i'll have no trouble recovering my damsel's corpse okay that's pretty intense but we're not gonna talk about it all right waste nothing for it will be gone the next day true that's uh actually decent advice all right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, I didn't push a button, thank you. That's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. Uh, maybe consider leaving a comment if you want to chat about anything, or if you want to leave me any uh, game recommendations other than the Stanley Parable, because I do plan on playing that. Um, if you want to check out the rest of the Overgrowth series on the channel, they're uh, going to be on my channel. i got a playlist uh, to all of them, so it'll be nice and easy to find. And without further ado, have a lovely day, morning, evening, afternoon, and night. Uh, bye bye